Look at it so very easy. My name is Laura and today I have a quick, fun and inexpensive project to make and it can be made from the very young to the very old and there's a lot of different variations. Some of these supplies for this project you will probably already have at home. We need a pair of scissors, a scrap piece of paper and some tape. We'll also need some buttons and in this case I will be using an assortment of red buttons, a permanent marker and some fun craft stretched canvas. This is canvas boards and the canvas has already been stretched on it. And it comes in this nice white sheet. You can get many different sizes. You can also get it a little bit thicker. And a lot of times it comes with an easel. In this case, I do want to use the easel. We will be gluing these buttons onto this canvas. So we're going to need some type of a glue that's going to hold those buttons permanently. So we're going to need a non-porous permanent glue that will dry clear. And an optional tool will be a pair of tweezers. I just use these tweezers to pick up the buttons. That saves the glue from getting on my fingers. So let's get started. We can start with just this plain canvas because it already has a nice white surface. But we can also paint it. But I'm going to leave it white. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a border. So I have this old ruler that I like to use for this type of a project. And I'm using just a plain black Sharpie. But again, you can change that color. Draw the line. I do like to go over it a couple of times because I really like it nice and bold. I'm using a quarter inch. You can use any measurement you want. I've gone around once, now I'm just going to do two corners. And with those two little lines on the corner, it just adds a little bit more dimension. Now, I need to cut a heart out of my paper. I'm going to fold my paper in half, and I'm placing that fold on whatever piece of canvas I'm going to use. And I'm going to mark the top and the bottom of my heart, because I don't want to go too big. So I want to have a point there. I'm going to start maybe here and go here. So it's going to be something like that shape. Because I want to keep it within that size. You don't need to draw it out first. Just cut it out. Sometimes I find just cutting it is a lot better than trying to draw it. So there's going to be my heart shape. But I'm going to be using both of them. Place a little bit of rolled tape on that heart and place it somewhere on this canvas. It can be straight, it can be on an angle, any way you want. This is giving us a guide because on one side I'm going to write my Valentine's message. Now if this is a child, it could be to a grandparent, to a parent, and they can write something right here in this area. So we can have the message coming down this way, or we can have a message going around that heart. And by having that heart taped on, it kind of gives us a good idea on where we're going to want to put that message, and we're not going into that heart area. And I'm going to write it just like I would on paper. I'm going to take that paper that I did cut the original button out of. I'm going to put pieces of tape along the back and stick it right in that area. I'm not permanently sticking this. I'm just placing it right over top. I'm going to rub that tape down and then take off that heart. So my surface is now protected but I do know the area that I want to glue those buttons on. And by using a paper template, I did not need to draw a pencil line because we won't be able to erase it off afterwards. So this is where I'm going to glue my buttons. If a child is doing this project, you could put glue in this hard area and then have them take the buttons and put them on top. As for myself, I'm just going to put some glue on a piece of aluminum and then I can pick up that button, put the glue on the back 
and place it down. So I'm going to fill this shape with flat buttons first, then I can fill them in with buttons with those shafts in them. So just fill this entire area with your buttons. So there's my first layer of buttons, and I'm not gluing that paper down, I'm just using it as a guide. Now I can stack some on top just to fill in those extra pieces. And this is a good opportunity to use some novelty buttons. I'm hoping to use that rose and maybe even the dove. Once I have all those buttons layered to the way I like, I'm going to carefully remove that paper, examine the way it looks, and if you want, you can add some at this point. If it doesn't quite look like a heart, you can always add a little bit. And right at the end, I like to add a couple of these little pearl beads. They fill up little holes and they just give it a nice sparkle. Now, I need to just let it dry. I did add two layers of buttons, so it is quite thick. So it's going to take a while to dry, at least overnight. But when it does, you won't see any of that glue at all. And it's going to have such a nice look. So this can be made with children or adults. You could paint this background, for example, black and put on white buttons or pink buttons. Having children write on this and then wrapping that up and giving it to someone definitely makes a nice Valentine's Day gift and one they can display and enjoy. You can make these at any size. You can get these little stretch canvases very, very tiny. You could do it all with tiny, tiny little beads or tiny little buttons. And you can get them a lot bigger. It's a fun project for children and adults. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Feel free to subscribe. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, all under So Very Easy, and I do have a newsletter. I'll put the links in the description. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.